Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, uh, sisters. Today, inshallah, we have uh, uh, Sister Shirin Qureshi from Edmonton. Inshallah, we'll be, uh, we have the hot topic of the month um, uh, this week, and inshallah, she'll be talking about how to deal with the tests and trials of life. So, inshallah, Sister Shirin, um, over to you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, my dear sisters. My name is Shirin Qureshi. I am from Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, this city is really right now is very white because of the uh, snow. And I'm here to talk about test and trials of life. So, a'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim I'm going to recite the uh, verses first, yes, Hajar. Aoudu Millahi Mina Shaitan Rojim Bismillahi Rahman Rahim. Padikuruni as a Kurukum was Ya ayyuhalladhina manastainu bis sabri wa salat inna allaha maas sabirin wa la taqulu liman yuqtalu fi sabili allahi ya mawat bal ahyaa wa la kila tashuru وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُعُوِ وَالنَّخْسٍ مِنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالنَّخْسٍ مِنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنْفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا قالوا إن لله وإنا إليه راجعون أولئك عليهم سلوات من ربهم ورحمة وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُهْتَدُونَ Let's go to the translation. Surah Al-Baqarah, verse, verse number 152 to 157. So remember me, I will remember you. And be grateful to me and do not deny me. O you who have believed, seek help through patience and prayer. Indeed, Allah is with the patient. And do not say about those who are killed in the way of Allah, they are dead, rather they are alive, but you perceive it now. And we will surely test you with something of fear and hunger and a loss of wealth and lives and fruits, but give good tidings to the patient. Who, when disaster strikes them, say, Indeed, we belong to Allah, and indeed, to him we will return. Those are the ones upon whom are blessings from their Lord and mercy, and it is those who are rightly guided. Yes, next slide. So, what is test and trials? Let's... Just, just a uh, thing to understand that we are always in problem, right? We try our best to be happy. There are musibat. Musibat is problems and problems, right? We hurt, ouch, right? Calamities and pandemic we are facing in our life and outside. Yes, next. Verifications and understanding. So what is test? Test comes with temptations, right? And there are trials. Trials have tribulations. So first, test. Every step of our life is test. 
And temptations is just like desires, appetite, wish, craving, urge. So trials are hardship, pain, suffering, anxiety. And tribulation is calamities, disasters, tragedies, genocides, right? Next, we are that what is in Quran, Quranic terms, it has been said that tests are ibtila, was ibtila Ibrahim, when Ibrahim al Islam was tested. Hawa, Hawa will we understand that Hawa means and Shahawat is are the desires. Musibat, musibat are problems, fitna is tribulations. Okay. Next, we go about test. Next, next slides here. Tests are for bonus points. So in our life, there it's a, it's the first thing we, we will say that uh, if in our life we are facing so many problems, right? And sometimes we are so happy, we don't need to, need to worry about anything, right? And it goes on. All of a sudden, we have some problems, right? So that's how test is, are the bonus points. Okay. He is the one who created death and life in order to test which of you is best in these. So our conducts and our moral behavior is to be checked in our life. And after death, we are going to get the result. Not in this world, right? And he is almighty, all forgiving. So whenever we do something wrong, we go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we already uh, recited uh, this verse is, uh, right? We already uh, uh, recited this verse. And Allah says in here, we will certainly test you with a touch of fear, of feminine, a loss of property, life and crops give good news to those who deal with it patiently right so dealing with it let's see how to deal how do we deal we already deal with th these problems right so next slide is test of life test of life is when there is a problem we find out the reasoning and we want ourselves to to come out of the, that problem. That is the way out, right? We think, we ponder, we, we, we bring uh, some resources, we look for those resources there. Right? And sometimes we Google, and that's that's how we, we deal with our problems, health problem, any problem, any kind of things, right? Any uh, uh, thing lost, right? We analyze those things. There's a timeline for us. We target, so what happens that when there is a problem or a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to focus on our aim. We have to aim what we are focusing it, right? What we want to achieve from it and how we are going to solve that problem. So until we focus on that uh, thing, we cannot achieve anything. So negativity brings sorrow. Main purpose is to resolve the problem in halal way, to get the rewards of and positivity leads to courage. When we are positive, we know this, these hurdles cannot change our direction and that makes us courage, right? This problem need to be solved rather blaming others. It, it is not going to solve. I'm the one who is going to handle. And we thank Allah when we come out of the problem, right? But Temptations and desires. Next slide, dear. So what is temptation? Temptations and desires are, you know, we desire so many things and then we control ourselves. For example, we know we eat so much, right? And we don't want to indulge in anything else, right? The same thing that, oh, there are goodies. So, so what, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that, have you seen, O Prophet, those who have taken their own desires as their God? It's a very big, big thing to understand that. So they have taken their 
desires as their God. So what is the God means? The oneness of God is that we believe in oneness of God. One of uh, oneness of Allah. Allah is the creator. Allah is the subservient. Allah is almighty. And Allah is the one who is dealing with all the problems of this uh, universe, right? And on the other hand, we want to do in our own way. And that's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in another uh, uh, verse, and who could be more astray than those who follow their desires with no guidance from Allah? So there is no guidance and they are just following the desires, right? And we know uh, uh, that so many things happen in our life and we always try to escape from the actual reality. And that is how that we slip in our desires, right? All good will be for its own benefit and all evil will be to its own loss. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the last words of Surah al right? So it means that whatever we do good, it is for our own self. And if we do any evil or wrong thing, we are going to face it. That is the consequence we have to take. So if we don't take the responsibility of our own acts, that is going to come in front of us. So that's how we lose. So being conscious means being wise. That is wisdom. So there are needs that we need in our life, basic needs. There are wants. Wants are also related to, to our own self, right? We want this, we want that, we, we want some uh, some. Uh, you know, uh, we want to relax, we want to uh, uh, stay uh, calm, we want to rest, we want love, we want family, we want everything, right? But extras are what are extras? We are indulging in luxuries. If we are going further down, right, then we are going for the, yeah, a trap in the uh, source of of share right so next slide here temptations or test so we are tempted to goodies we are tempted to piece of cake right we are tempted to opposite sex we are tempted to money we are tempted to a beautiful car we are tempted to beautiful houses allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say that i have put the love of these things in your heart Yes, in Surah Al-Ali Imran, I'm not I'm mentioning this verse, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Hubbu shahwat. So, so you, I have put, if you don't have those desires, then you're not a human. You are, humans are desiring for those things, right? This is the way the life is going to go on. We cannot live on this earth without these desires, but we have to control our desires. Next here, next slide here trials okay no calamities befalls anyone except by allah's will ma asaba bi musibatin illa bi ismillah so nothing can happen no musibat no trial is going to come until allah accepts that so what happens when it says that illa bi ismillah it makes me calm make my heart cool down right my uh, anger and anxiety everything cools down oh i have a, an accident right then oh it is because of allah's will then i will cool down and manage my problem right jobless or some other other kind of problem death we have to face right next tribulations and calamities so what kind of problems are there just like coronavirus we are facing disasters right in uh, british columbia war happening in different places so we have to first raise our hands these hands don't hurt right we have this domestic violence and on the other hand all the doors are closed Nobody's there to help us out. 
twist that this is Allah that will always open the door for us. Right? Next slide, Dave. Predestined. We need to understand what predestined is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us calm when we are in problems. Just, just go through these verses and we will understand that how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take the charge in his hand. No calamity or blessings occurs on our earth or in yourself. If there is problem on the earth or, or in your own self, you are sick or something happening without being written, it is already written in a record before we bring it into being. This is certainly ease for Allah. مَا أَصَابَ مِن مُسِيبَةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا فِي الْأَنفُسِكُمْ إِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ نَبْرَأَهَا It is before, before, 50,000 before years. Not in our count, in Allah's count. Before our souls were bound, bound, uh, born. And everything was written by the pen. Accepting the will of Allah makes suffering ease. Next, comfort zone. Comfort zone, yeah. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu istainu bisabri wa salah. O believers, seek comfort in patience and prayer. Allah is truly with those who are patient. Inna Allah ma sabri. Just, just look at this. That sabar, if you do sabar, if you are patient in all the trials and tribulations, what is Allah saying? That I'm with you all the time. Just you have to call me, I'm there. You don't see me, you don't feel, you can't feel me, I'm there. So means to solve the problem. What is sabr is to means the sol to solve the problem. Sabr doesn't mean to just stop doing anything and throw yourself in the sofa and or couch and just wait for the time, right? It means that the person should stand to solve the problem. You help yourself, Allah is going to help you with a beautiful planning. So whenever the problem is there, we seek help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the limits of Islamic ruling of halal and haram, right? So if we are sick, we don't do with haram stuff, right? We go to those, those things, what, the medications, we always look for the, for the you know, ingredients. That's how it is, right? Next slide. Whoever has faith in Allah, ma asaba me musibatin illa bismillah. No calamity befalls anyone except by Allah's will. Wa man yumin billahi yahdi falbahu. And whoever believes Allah is going to guide their hearts. And that's what it is. Through adversity and problems, Allah has perfect knowledge of all things. No one has perfect knowledge, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we go down to him, we ask his help, we go through the rulings of Quran, we go to the rulings of, uh, of uh, the hadith and, uh, and the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa How many problems he had dealt in his life, right? We face our face to the Kaaba, right? And we feel the calmness, right? Next, Allah will test. Allah will test. He said, I I'm going to test you. Yeah? Have the people, do the people think once they say, they will be left. We believe that they will be left without being put on the test. So test is there. What is the mean of test? The non-Muslims are not going to have tests. No, they have tests. Everyone is facing problem. Everyone is sick. Everyone has to go through this life. Everyone has to take care of this thing. But what does the test do? So actually, for the disbelievers, there is a way out. They will think 
how to come out of the problem and they seek refuge in the creator rather they know him or not allah is there to help believers and non believers everyone but for the believers there is a challenge how we stand on the limits of allah right allah says fa inna mal usri so surely with hardship comes ease and he says again and again mal inna mal usri usra yusr usur and yusr hardship and ease comes along and we have to deal with it we enjoy it on one side and, oh, oh the job is so tough and you come in in your family and you relax with your children right there's a usur and yusr when we know how to handle the problem and depend means tawakkal on allah we become wise we know how to deal it oh that was a piece of cake right that's why how we deal with it right next slide please test and trials so test and trials allah subhanahu wa taala says ibtila so in surah al fajr i have to, uh, not uh, stated here that uh, words but when allah is generous humanity boast when allah is generous allah has given something for us what happens oh we boast oh there is nothing to do allah is so great allah is so so uh, generous he provides us everything and as soon as he limits then the complaints and protest come our end that's what allah subhanahu wa taala says in surah al fajr and that is ibtila that is test okay this is our life daily life right hawa hawa and shahwat are desires if you follow your desires what is going to happen we won't be able to handle wa man dallu mimman ittaba hawa so he goes astray if he or she takes his, his desires as the lead so musibat ma asabi musibat illa bismillah so there is musibat and the th- fourth thing is fitna fitn and we all know rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has mentioned in the last days there will be fitn so there is a very big column in all ahadis that there is a fitn on the last days trials affliction dis- distress disasters right al fitn is worse than killing so the civil war and the and the misconceptions um, you know the delusions they are more than killing if if we are killed we are out but but when there are problems it is very hard to deal it is really hard so i'll tell you a story of here of musa alaihi salam okay musa alaihi salam what happened with him he was a great prophet he was a great prophet and he was in trials from the day he was born before he is born right his mother was worried if i am i am going to have a boy i have to leave oh what i am going to do right well, allah says that وَفَتَنَّ كَفُتُونَ I have put him in trial after trial, right? In Surah, right? In Surah Taha, Allah says, "Later you killed a man by mistake, but we save you from sorrow as well as other tests we put you through." So there were test after test of Musa al Islam, but he was raised as a prince. he was raised as a prince he was very he lived a very luxurious life he was very strong he was given the all the facilities to be strong and wise and smart and how to stand in the community with his own words right and he was trained by firaun right but what happened that he was just looking at the mistake of some uh, person and he punched him and the person died and later he has to flee away from egypt 
right? So as a prince, just look at his personality. He has to come out of that environment. He has to leave his own country. And he came back to, to Madain, right? And what happened over there, right? He was homeless. He didn't have anything. And later, he, she, uh, he, he helped two girls and they asked their parents to help him out as a, and take him as a, as a worker, as a, uh, right? So employee, and he was employed as a shepherd. And that is the thing that how a prince is going to do the farm work, hard work, right? But he was, he took the challenge and he was smart enough to do that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave a loving family to him, a loving wife, a beautiful wife, a beautiful, a very, very, uh, you know, loving father-in-law, right? So, and that's how Allah teaches that if you are going to be a prophet, you must know that how common people are dealing in their life and you will be able to guide them properly. So next is test and trials make you wise. Okay? Test, following the commandments of Allah in, in daily simple life. When being weak, seek refuge in Allah. So common, common is that praying in our, uh, daily five prayers, right? We are mistaking, taking lies and speaking truth or or bothering others, a simple, simple way, right? And if you do something, just we, uh, yeah, we come back to Allah and ask refuge and ask his maqfirah, right? There are so many things that we slip in, in the desires. So what happens? That come back to Allah and ask his forgiveness. Halal and haram sometimes and sometimes you have to be conscious. No, we cannot eat those things. Or we cannot be in that environment, right? Trial are accepting fate makes firm in all situations. So what happens that test make us wise, test make us conscious, test make us strong in our ability. When the trial comes, we are firm in all situations. Reward from Allah makes us person strong. We know that going through this trial, we, Allah is going to reward us, right? Being patient makes a person wise. We are strong in patience. We make plans to come back to those situations, right? And builds the connection with Allah. So tests and trials are there to to make us wise, right? And the next here, test trial, temptations, and tribulations. How do we see trial? So life is a test. Trials make you smart. Temptations make you use self-discipline. When there's, there are temptations, what we do, we don't indulge ourselves in those things, right? We have to take care of our health. We have to take care of our, take, take care of our family. We have to take uh, uh, have time limits for uh, different things. We have to uh, deal with so many uh, uh, problems of other things. So we, we um, cut down our playground, right? So that's, that's how it is, right? right? Tribulations make you generous. How tribulations there when when the, there is problem in the community? For example, we are the uh, British Columbia is facing those problems, right? Are we generous over there? Are we thinking over there? There are so many places where Muslims and are suffering. Doesn't matter who they are, but they are suffering. Are we generous over there? Are we thinking of that? So whenever we are generous, Allah provides her more because Allah knows that this is the person who will use the, uh, uh, the money in a proper way. 
getting help in pain or persuasion. For example, the person is himself or herself is in pain. So he has to, she has to take help. How is going to take help? You must know to whom we can go. There are people, right? We help each other, we share each other, we, we deal with each other, right? And that's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made us comfort with each other. Challenges and determination. So there are challenges, but we are determined to stand and walk on the straight path. I'm not going to change my path no matter what, because challenges will come. I cannot leave this area. Right? Getting help when and how. So when there is problem, for example, in our self, what we have to do is we have to seek help. So it is not a shame to seek help. So we are living in a country where, where we can uh, have shelter, right? But beside that, but beside that, we, our community, we as a um, as a Ikna sisters, we always get help with each with with each other. So you can seek help, just like say, see uh, when you are sick, you go to a doctor. We take help and from uh, others to advise, right? Who is going to help? Taking help accordingly. So you can you can take help. You ask someone and you get the help accordingly. Hardship builds smartness. Next. Yes. Hardships are there. So consequences taking responsibilities, right? If I take one step today, we are going to face that step, right? If I don't raise my child properly today, I'm going to face it and there maybe I'm going to rectify myself later on, but right now I have some problem, right? So that's that's how it is. Step by step, we rectify ourselves. Step by step, we take responsibilities. As soon as we see some bitter co consequence, we just take our route and we just take our actions accordingly. Precautions. Well, we have to take Precautions before time, knowing the problems or challenges of life, right? That's how we raise our children. That's, what, that's how we train ourselves and our sisters. And that's how we take the challenges. Proactive, any, any, any problem, we have to pre prepare ourselves. Just like in pandemic, vaccine yourself, right? The precautions are there. Smart and wise have a scope of life. So when we have a scope of life that whatever I eat when I was 30 or 40 or before that, I'm going to face when I was 60, right? These, these, are, these are the decades of our life that we, we face the consequence, right? So trials and temptations, trials. Trials are challenges. Trials comes from outside into your life. It motivates to improve behavior. It builds understanding how to deal in different matters and situations. Temptations, these are the desires following the temptation brings a person to a slippery slope. If we, once we are, are tempted, the second, second step is slippery. Continuously following desires matures a person in habitual actions and corrupt behavior. So that's how it is. Tempted, you are slipping. It brings closer to self. So you have to not only do, uh, ask for, uh, do istighfar, but you have to Repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doing tawbah, right? Next slide. Test trials and temptations. Tests are do's and don'ts. In our simple life, daily life as native and as Muslim. So what is nature? Natural things. Being close to nature. 
So what is nature? This is our self that guides us. If our conscious is alive, we are going to follow the nature. We are not going to go against the nature. On the other hand, we are Muslims, and the Muslims are are no uh, are the followers of the Quran, and naturally we will plan ourselves what is provided by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. We will plan ourselves according to the rulings of our and teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Trials, trials are the circumstance that makes hard to stand on two sides. The daily life is right. I'm doing this. I'm not doing that. I'm... But sometimes the circumstances are so problematic. We cannot handle this with our daily routine life, right? So it, if it escalates, a person can can only work out with the help of Sikr Allah. So what happens then? Oh, it is so tough to handle, right? So that's how we go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah bi dhikrillahi tatma in al khulub. We know, beware only by the zikr of Allah, you can calm down. Your heart will come to calm, right? And in that situation, these tests and trials make us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Temptations again to understand actions upon reactions and overreactions in our daily tests and trials. So what happens? That oh, I already um, yeah, put the verses over here. So yes, yes, go go ahead. Yes. So. Allah doesn't put burden on anyone according to the ability. Our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, if Allah wants to do good to some somebody, he afflicts him with trials. The, uh, the hadith in Bukhari. So what? Allah loves someone or he wants us? It means the trials are the challenges. They are the bonus point for us. That Allah wants us to understand in a different way and in a different dimension. We can understand the scope. We can understand the life. We grew with those, uh, those uh, you know, experiences. So we seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-hammi wal-huzn wal-idsi wal-kasr wal-bukli wal-jibr wal-dalladini wal-ghalabati rajjah So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has taught us so many du'as, so many du'as and there are so many du'as in, in the in Quran, right? Yunus alayhi wa sallam What did he pray? Although he was suffering, although he was in the uh, uh, in the belly of a uh, uh, big fish or whale, right? So what happened? He was asking Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that I have done mistake, but you are the one who is glorifying, right? So, <clears throat> oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from grief and sadness. So, hum is grief, right? And husun is sadness. That makes you, if you don't deal with it, you will go in anxiety and depression. So, we must ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep our, us from grief and sadness, from weakness. We are ajis, right? We are enabled. To do something, oh Allah, make us strong. Weakness. And from laziness, you know, kasal. Kasal is laziness. What kind of laziness is that? Right? Okay, we procrastinate, right? Miserliness, right? Poverty, right? Poverty. And well, book level, 
right? Cowardness. How we, we don't want to face it in a strong way. We just we are scared of the situation. From overcome by depth. Depth makes us weak. That's why we have to ask Allah to, to make us and uh, flourish and wealth, right? And not indulge in it, right? But to take care of it properly. And overpowered by men. And people always, they always um, uh, want to overpower and we are weak to accept that power. That's how, how it's happening in the Muslim world that we are o overpowered by them, right? So uh, we are, you have to ask this to our human being. The next, the last slide. Allahumma inni a'udhubika min jahdil bala wa darki shaka wa suil qada wa shamaitil ada. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from the anguish of tribulation, the lowest depths of misery, and the bad of what is decreed. Sui qada, the bad of the decree, and the malice of enemies. Right? These enemies, they can make fun of us. They are bitter in all situations, right? So we have to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again and again to make us strong and keep us away from all the trials, all this, this uh, anguish of tribulations, right? The anguish of tribulations. Lastly, this is the last verse of Surah Al-Baqarah, right? So, and... These are the two, the two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah has been blessed on the day of Miraj. When Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went to visit Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, right? These are the two blessed way. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has taught us how to make dua, how to make our prayers. So let's, let's recite this verse, right? لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت. Allah does not put burden on anyone, any soul. لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت. Whatever he do, does good, it is for him, her, and it, whatever uh, bad he is, she does, it is for her. Because nafs is soul and it is feminine that's why it is written her right right do not hold us if we forgot anything or do by mistake do not hold us accountable. Learn to achizna. Nasi, if I forget something. Or achtana, khata, if I do mistake. Rabbana wa la tahmil alayna isran kama hamaltahu ala ladina min qablina. O oh Allah, do not put burden on us as you have put burden on the people before us. They were going so with all the trials, we have so much luxurious life, right? Rabbana wa la tuhammilna ma la taqata lana bi. Oh Allah, do not put burden on us, which we cannot bear. Wa'afwanna, oh Allah, forgive us. Wa'afwanna, oh Allah, forgive us. Pardon us. Af is doing pardon. And it can also be asked as forgive. And maqfira is forgive. Waqfir lana. Warhamna Allah put mercy on us. Anta maulana. You are our maula. You are our guide. Fansurna. And please help us. Alal qawmil kafirin upon 
the people who deny you, you need help. My dear sisters, if you have any questions, I'm here to ask you. Jazakallah khair, uh, Sister Shireen. Uh, that was very beautiful. Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, we got lots of reminders, lots of things for us to learn. Alhamdulillah, uh, Jazakallah khair. Uh, sisters, you're most welcome to ask any questions, uh, inshallah. Um, anything you want to ask, you can, uh, you know, or share your thoughts also, you can do that. Or you can comment on us. Me, I missed something. Maybe you can add something. Uh, like what I gather, uh, Sister Shirin, from what you, um, uh, what I learned today is like, Subhanallah, the whole life is a test. There, are, uh, either we call it tests or trials or problems or you know. Uh, so, uh, and uh, you also said a beautiful thing that really touched my heart. The thing that, uh, you know, the um, uh, Allah loves, um, um, you know, the people who are tested more are those uh, whom Allah loves. Uh, so he puts them in tests, uh, you know, to see how they deal with the situation, to see how they, uh, you know, deal with their problems with people around them. And then uh, the way we deal with those things, uh, either calmly or patiently seeking dua, uh, seeking uh, Allah's help. Um, uh, that's what uh, um, you know raises our rank in Jannah, and that's what uh, erases our sins. Um, that's what Allah loves from us. So, but if we, um, uh, I mean, if we go other way, uh, you know, uh, then uh, that is not how we deal with things, right? So, this is what uh, Subhanallah, a take home lesson for me. Subhanallah. Those who are tested were the most tested people were the prophets, right? Yes. That's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioned. Yes, yes, Muhammad. Yes. Uh, may Allah, you know, uh, grant us a good life in this dunya and in the hereafter and protect us from the test that we cannot bear. Uh, yes, on the day of judgment, the people will say. It's just a mafum of the hadith that the people will uh, wish that, oh, if my body was cut down with the Caesar, right? So, so much uh, in pain that I could have gained the more status in Jannah. So that the more pain, you may more gain. But uh, I want to say here that do not ask for test or trials, right? So we will always ask for Allah's rahmah, mercy, right? And we are not going to ask for test. But our daily life, our da daily life deals with it, right? We have to be full down in our daily life and we have to understand whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. We will make comfort on that Thing. We will be happy with whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave and we will not complain to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? Jazakallah, sister Zakia. Um, we have something in the chat. Um, uh, sister Roz here says that sometimes asking for help is very difficult because of the feelings of shame. Um, do you want to say something about this, uh, sister Shireen? Yeah. Look, uh, what I want to say is, uh, I, I just put that uh, column over there, right? Ask help. Don't check someone or just uh, try to, uh, our Ikna sisters, right? We are here to help you out, right? Think that uh, just like Sister Hajra is there. If you uh, ask her to help, she is going to guide you for somewhere right? These groups are there to help you out for, and especially for those sisters who are our new sisters. We really love you all, right? And 
the the group is embraced Lord. we are embracing we are so happy when someone becomes muslim we all pray for that sisters not only we we our community the whole community so you have you have so many uh, right uh, people to help you out but don't go for help to each and everyone okay always take a uh, special step to uh, see that who is there, who is sincere. So right now I can say that Hajra is there. You can ask Hajra to help in whatever matter. Don't say what, what is there. So ask help for some kind of, um, I need help in this. I need advice in this. So Hajra is going to guide you to the proper person, right? So, so help, help is needed all the time even if you, if you are sick we need help we, we call our neighbor oh please can you get the yeah, grocery we already yeah, yeah, booked it there, right so so help, help is there and allah is there to have when someone helps he gets re he she gets reward right so and, and when we go through the test we can relate better with those who are going through similar yes the, 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 this is a very very good thing that uh those who are going through the uh, the same problems, they know how they can help you out. Oh, I already did this. Oh, I faced this problem. You can you can do with that problems related, right? So, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah, her sister Shirin. Mashallah. Uh, yes, we all need help uh, in some point of our life. And we have to, you know, um, uh, the first of all, first thing is make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then um, seek help uh, through our sisters, um, uh, whoever we can, you know, trust and uh, who we can, you know, um, seek help from. Uh, mashallah, uh, it was very good explanation. Sister Fareha here has written, tests and challenges help us to grow better. And it helps us to learn about ourselves that we have much more in us than we knew. Yes, mashallah. And she has also written that when we go through a test, we can relate better with those who are going through similar challenges. Very true. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Any uh, other sisters wants to add anything? You can open your mic and you can, you know, uh, chat with us. You're most welcome to do that. Or any other question? Or I can, I can add that... Mm -hmm. This is the test we are going to, we have to answer. Just uh, like uh, test is a test, just like in school days, we have test and then exams, right? And then the final exams, right? So uh, this, this world, Allah is preparing us to face the akhirah, right? When we go in grave, we have to answer three questions. Are we ready for that? Manrabbuk, who is your Rabb? Man, uh, what's their deen? What's their religion? Nabi, right? Who is the Nabi? Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, right? So these, these questions will be easier when we pass this test. And we don't know how to pass that we, uh, did we pass this test or not? No. The thing is, that when we are sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what you have to do is, I have to be sincere. No matter what, Allah is going to help when we are sincere to Him. If we are playing around, it is not going to help, right? And especially uh, our sisters who are, uh, are, are we say, revered sisters, right? I really appreciate and I really we are so proud to be uh, uh, to be with you all that you have faced so many challenges right and you were very strong to take the challenges right so coming to the truth is not an easy task we have to put everything behind to find the truth right and that's how you are you are upgraded in your level and you are double rewarded. Those who come to the to Islam, they are double rewarded. They're already forgiven. Make dua for us, right? 
we will ask you to do, make dua because you are very close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The day you revert to Islam, you are, you are very clean, pure, without any sin. MashaAllah. May Allah help you out in all steps of life. May Allah help on all sides. May Allah provide you wherever you are with all the facilities and abilities. To come to the uh, yeah, new things. Right? Inshallah, Allah will. Yeah, Allah is going to bless you. May Allah cover you with His rahma. May Allah cover you with His maqfira. May Allah help you on every step of life. May Allah make us all sisterhood, helping each other. And that's how we are. Right? May Allah raise us all under the shade of harsh. May Allah give, protect us and make us go on on the uh, Sirat al mustaqim right? The path goes straight to Jannah. May, may Allah make us all determined to enjoy this world in the right way. Subhanak Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Maya Sifan. Assalamu alaikum wa alhamdulillah.